this is a, again servo i you can uh, and biases or servo biases ventilator um, here is the tidal volume you set it four ml per kilo and this is before this is the tidal volume um, axis here and the volume guarantee mode this is the pip as you can see after surfactant before surfactant the ventilator was using about 18 centimeters of pip peak inspiratory pressure once surfactant is given lung compliance improved ventilator automatically decreased the pip now it's using 13 centimeters of pip to deliver the same tidal volume around the same tidal volume 4 ml per kilo or 4.5 4 ml per kilo so that is the how ventilator works with the volume guarantee mode and you can set it up either in the pressure control pg or assist control plus pg mode you can do both there are subtle differences between the two you what's the best mode we use uh, tcpl plus vg but if you're used to assist control you can use assist control plus vg there's no difference in terms of outcomes limitations as i mentioned if the leak is more than 40 or 60 percent it's really not reliable because the ventilator has a hard time measuring the tidal volume and pressure adjustments occur for a few breaths to deliver the set tidal volume so if you set a lower rate on the ventilator it may not work so the typically in a volume guarantee mode set your respiratory rate at 30 okay not below that and you don't need a higher rate and volume guarantee of course will work only if the patient is breathing spontaneously if the baby is apneic baby is going to get the backup rate if the baby is sedated paralyzed volume guarantee doesn't work because it has to be triggered by the baby so you need to remember all that post-op uh, you sedated the baby heavily or paralyzed the baby for whatever reason then volume guarantee doesn't work that's why you need to set up a backup rate what are the data uh, here are the 16 studies about thousand babies comparing volume target or volume guarantee versus pressure control and showed death or bpd at 36 weeks was not different but bpd alone at 36 weeks post menstrual age was lower by about 27 percent number needed to treat eight babies pneumothorax less 50 percent less pneumothorax on volume targeted or volume guarantee mode days on mechanical ventilation was not different hypocarbia or ibh or periventricular leukomalacia they were all much lower so volume control or volume guarantee mode has been shown to have better outcomes in terms of reducing bpd ibh pneumothorax and minimizing hypocarbia hypocarbia means low carbon dioxide which will decrease your cerebral blood flow and can cause ischemic injury to the brain so if you have it use it if you don't have it it's really not a bad thing because as i said in my unit most babies are on pressure control mode but i volume limit the baby so what do you set how do you set volume g bg mode again you can use either pressure ac assist control or tcpl or simb any one of the more backup modes and then add plus bg tidal volume generally about 5 ml per kilo but i will show you in another slide depending on if the baby is rbs or bpd pip 20 percent above pip needed to deliver the set tidal volume so in general they ask you to set a p max set the p max at 30 centimeters maximum pip pressure that ventilator has to use that's called the p max p five or six inspiratory time 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 seconds i normally like to use 0 0.4 seconds rate 30 to 40 as i said in small micro preemies you may set 40 but in bigger babies you may set 30 and flow rate is generally three or four times the size of the endotracheal tube so if we have a if you have a 3.0 endotracheal tube set the flow rate about 10 liters per minute again volume vg mode is a pressure limited continuous flow ventilation with 
target in the tidal volume. Things, what about in Avia? In Avia, ventilated, flow rate has no effect on your inspiratory time unless you, you flow cycle it. Again, you can only flow cycle in the TCPL mode. See, these are some of the things you need to know. That's why I don't like to use too many ventilators because I have to remember each one, how it works. Just stick with one ventilator to deliver VG mode or even TCPL mode, okay? VG is a volume guarantee, is adjusted breath by breath with pressures within three centimeters of the maximum pressure you set in. Pressure SAME or pressure assist control plus VG mode is time cycled and no flow cycling. So if you want flow cycling, you need to put it in the TCPL plus VG mode. Okay, that is why I use TCPL plus VG mode in my unit. But there's nothing wrong using SIME or AC, pressure AC, combined with VG mode. If VG fails for whatever reason, the default mode would be SIME or pressure assist control. So here is the guidelines proposed by um, Klingenberg from uh, uh, Norway. Um, if a baby has RDS and the baby's weight is less than one kilo, you start at five ml per kilo tidal volume. Maximum pressure is PIP of 30 for everybody. Inspiratory time, he recommends 0 0.3 because babies with RDS have less compliant lung and therefore you don't need a longer inspiratory time. In babies over one kilo, they actually use a large, smaller tidal volume. Even 0.5 ml makes a difference. So 4.5 ml is recommended to start with. And then high times 0.3. If the baby is more than two weeks of age, is already getting lung injury, airway damage, increase in dead space. So you want to use a higher tidal volume, five to eight ml per kilo. And you have to use a longer input time, 0.45 seconds. Baby with diaphragmatic hernia, use the smallest tidal volume, four ml per kilo. You may want to use a higher rate, like 50 or even 60 sometimes. You can use high rates in the diaphragmatic hernia baby. If you're going to limit the tidal volume to least possible four ml per kilo. Again, six to eight liters, depending on the size of the endotracheal tube, ET tube leak, it'll tell you the ventilator, try to keep it below 50%. 